everybody. Today I'm bringing you guys a haul. I could say that I'm sorry that I'm doing another one already, but I'm not. And actually, I missed a lot of stuff in the last one, so some of this should have been in the last one. It is what it is. So one of the newest things that I bought, I just bought this on Friday, and I'm absolutely loving it, is the Hamilton Beach Flex Brew K-Cup Coffee Maker. I love it because it does the coffee cups like this, but then you also see this part actually pulls out and flips around and tucks back in so that it's just like this tiny lip, and then you could do big ones. It brews in about two minutes. Love it. I also have been loving the Method cleaning products. I've been trying out the All Purpose Honeycrisp Apple and the anti back Bathroom Cleaner in Spearmint. I'm loving both of these. That same purchase, I picked up some of the Up and Up Acetone Nail Polish Remover compared to Cutex. I haven't tried this out yet, but I mean, it's nail polish remover. I just haven't put in an order to Zoya yet. I'm sharing these again. I know I've shared these in empties before, but they really are great. These are the Simply Balanced Dry Sweetened Mango Slices. They're so good. They're so good. Let's see. I got, I picked up I wanted to try these out. These are the Garnier Whole Blends Hydrating Shampoo and Conditioner in the Coconut Water and Vanilla Milk. I think these were... They smell so good. They were 3 bucks each, three fifty dollars each. They really weren't that bad. And then I also picked up a Old Spice Fiji Deodorant. Everybody talks about using men's deodorant. I figured I'd give it a try. What's the worst that's going to happen? I'm going to smell like a dude. Oh well. The only person that's going to notice that is my dude. Don't think he's going to care. He smells like a dude too. Then I, let's see, did I pick up anything else that day? Oh, I've been trying out the Key Lime Chapstick. Don't like it as much as the other ones that I've tried. It's okay. Let's see, then I made a trip to Bath & Body Works. I have not done a Bath & Body Works haul in so long. I'm working through all my body care. I have so many candles I don't need anymore. But I am going to be putting in a candle purchase just for two. I want to pick up the strawberry cupcake and the chocolate pistachio ones. I went in and smelled those, and those both smell amazing. But I did go in to stock up on scent portables and sanitizers because I've been throwing blowing through sanitizers at work so I got this adorable let me unpackage it so you can actually see it way to be prepared Lindsay these are owls but I don't know if you can tell but the leaves move around inside of it super cute love this and then I got four fragrances I got Georgia peach I got Pumpkin Cupcake, which I love this as a car scent. I got Leaves, which I also love as a car scent. And then I got Sweet Pea. So these were four for ten. This was seven fifty, I think. And then I got um, twelve dollars in pocket backs. Either way, I ended up spending twenty five dollars because I had a $10 off a 30 coupon. So then I also picked up, like I said, 10 pocket backs. I picked up, let's see, Boardwalk Vanilla Cone, Pumpkin Cupcake, Strawberry Fields, Just Peachy, Cool Coconut Colada, Um, coconut pumpkin latte, sunshine state of mind. Yep, I was trying to figure out if I was actually remembering that was the name. Seize the day, which it says beach bellini, but it smells like peach bellini. 
pumpkin cranberry cider. And then my absolute favorite two things I bought from Ulta that, or from uh, Bath and Body Works that day was these two. I'll take them off. My, I've got them on my keys. I got um, pumpkin berry crumble. And then I got this little thing. Normally the pocket back holders are big and bulky and like this plastic. And I just, they're, I don't like it. I've, I've grown up a little bit from liking those. But they make these little plastic thingies that all they are is the little thing that wraps around there and then attached to your keys. And it's perfect. It's got all these cute little plastic disc looking things. And so I've got them attached onto my keys and it's awesome. I love having them like that. And then let's see. I want to say that I touched on these on my haul, last haul that I did, the Better Skin by Maybelline Foundation and Concealer. I'm loving them both. I'm loving them both. Like, I'm actually already down to, like, right there on this. So, yes, loving them. Let's see. A couple of things that I got in some... Instagram purchases from last one that I forgot. This is the e.l.f. highlighter in Moonlit Pearl. Super gorgeous. I also got the Jewel Up highlight in Champagne. And my very first full size, the Balm Blush. But this is the Instain Blush in pinstripe which that it's a gorgeous it's going to be a gorgeous fall color so in love with that i got my scent bird for the month so i this month i got i hate how hard it is to pull out sometimes lancome it's french it's la vie et belle I'm sure that there's a much prettier way of saying that, but I absolutely love this scent. It's more mature than what the things that I used to like, but love it. I've got Victor and Rolf's Flower Bomb coming in September. Super excited about that. I picked up some of these Noxzema eyebrow shapers. There's one missing because I used them this morning. Love them. They're great. Couple bucks. I also got um, an order from Ulta that actually just came in today. It was the 10 times points order. So I spent $50 and went from having like $32 in points to like $56 in points. It was great. I've already spent those on an order, order that's coming in on Wednesday. But that order was like $140 value for $10 out of pocket. So that was awesome. So I picked up the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in N or 2N1 Desert Beige. I'm going to try this out. I may have to return this and repurchase it. I want to say that originally I thought I was 2N3 Fresco. So I'm going to try this first though and I'll figure it out. Then I picked up the NYX color correcting powder in banana. I have not opened this yet, but I'm excited to try that out. I like the packaging of this much more than I like the elf one. And then I picked up the NYX Pro, NYX Pro foundation mixer in olive. This seems really dark, but I have so many foundations that are too light for me that this is going to be like perfect because I can add just a tiny bit and deepen up a foundation. See, it's like, it's pretty dark, but it's also really cool toned. So I can darken it up a little bit and then make it go cool toned. So I'm excited for that. Let's see. That order came with this bag of goodies. 
It was a uh, 25 spend 25 get whatever for free. It's got a whole bunch of like foil samples in it. Like this one's for Smashbox. Um, not your mother's beach babe hair. Um, a Dolce and Gabbana perfume. It's got a little 0.135 of the CC Plus and Medium, which is my shade, so that's awesome. A Jewel Up Hydrating Cleansing Oil. A Vita Bath Body Wash in Coconut, which I'm super excited to try that out. A Cabral, which I'm kind of disappointed in this because they sent out one. One is going to be way too light for my brows. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to be able to do with that, but it is what it is. Um, another Bare Skin Sheer Sun Serum Bronzer. I already have one of those, but I haven't tried it yet, so I might really like it. I don't know. Then a little mini um, C&D Solar Oil, which is one of my favorite cuticle oils, so I'm excited for that. An First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream Foil. And then a Clean White Woods Fragrance Sample. And then the samples for the order were the Living Proof Fresh Cut Split End Mender. Split End Menders are so gimmicky. You cannot mend split ends. You can only get a haircut. But the whole point of this is it's a basically a texturizing lotion that gives you a little bit of texture to your ends so that it feels more blunt, I guess. It says, instantly zip split ends with this lightweight lotion to keep hair looking and feeling freshly cut, no sticky feeling. Reply, apply to damp or dry hair. Focus on ends. That's all it says. I don't know. Split end menders are gimmicky to me. And then this two pack of Hask Macadamia Oil Moisturizing Shampoo and Conditioner, which I'm super excited to try these out because I've been looking at that brand. And then they sent me out an additional sample, which is this is the Ulta Beauty Moisturizing Body Lotion in Fig and Honey, which I've tried these before and I wasn't a fan, but apparently they reformulated them, so I'll try it out. Sorry if you guys hear that. I live pretty close to my fire station. And California's on fire right now, so it goes off a lot. But anyways, it came out with the little card, and it says new look, formulas, and improved fragrances. And then there's a $5 off any one product coupon on the back for body wash, body butter, body mist, lotion, body scrub, and smoothie. I was interested in trying out, I was like $5 off, so if it's like $12, I'll only have to pay $7. I'll try one of the body scrubs. Their scrubs are $20, so it'd still be a $15 body scrub. Probably not going to try that. But they have a couple of other items inside of this that I might be willing to try for like 50% off. Then I have a haul that I didn't talk to you guys about in the last one that was an Ulta haul that I just want to kind of breeze through real quick. I picked up a two-pack of these makeup blending sponges from Ulta. I've got this one right here, and then the other one's still in here. These soak up so much product, I don't like them. Stick with your uh, Real Technique sponge or a beauty blender, because those, even though they're only $5 a piece, get, if you're wanting to spend that, get the Real Technique ones. They're so much better. I got two of these NYX Ombre blushes. This one is in Soft Flush. And this one is in Mauve Me. I absolutely love this one. There's a nude one also that I'm interested in picking up. Great blushes. And then I got... I repurchased the Urban Decay Naked Lipstick. I don't like this packaging like everybody else says. I like the old packaging better. And honestly, I'd probably rather pay the extra. Oh, it's five dollars. I don't know. I'm very, I'm, I'm torn. And then I picked up the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. 
in light, I think. I don't know. I had issues finding the shade that I needed. This one seems to be working pretty well. It's pretty heavy though, so I don't know. I've, I haven't played with this enough to figure out how exactly I feel about it. Then I have some Instagram purchases from Sense That Haul. I have another one of these Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Masks. When I can get these for $1, $1.50, I'll pick them up because I really like them. I have the Bumble and Bumble BB Prita Powder Dry Shampoo Style Extender and Volume in a Pinch. It's like a powder dry shampoo. I haven't tried it yet. We'll see. Then I have the Ulta Oil-Free Eye Makeup Remover Pads. I have the Bath & Body Works Eucalyptus Spearmint Pocket Back. And the little penguin, which I think I'm going to re-gift the penguin. But it came together and I got both of them for a dollar, so that was a great deal. The Ulta Flawless Prime Primer, which I was looking interested in trying that out. A 1.69 size of the Sephora Triple Action Cleansing Water. A 1 point or a 0.17 ounce size of the Murad Invisibler Perfecting Shield, which I think I got this for a dollar or two, and it's eleven dollars with products, so that was a great deal. I also got one of the Real Techniques brow brushes, which I'm excited to try that out. And then I also got the Soft Matte Lip Cream in Milan, which the package seems so much more mauve than the hot pink of the wand. I don't know. I haven't figured out how I feel about this color yet. And then I placed a Sephora order, and yet again, Sephora pissed me off. Don't post samples as options if they're not actually options, especially when I get my order and I look on the website and the samples I wanted that I didn't get are still listed as an option. And on my packing slip, the two that I really wanted are checked as being in the box. And the third one says general sample. And I got two perfume samples. And not the samples that I wanted. I wanted to try the Sephora Collection 10 Hour Wear Foundation, which had multiple shades, and then the Amazing Cosmetics Amazing Concealer, which had multiple shades. The day I ordered this, or the day that I received this in the mail, both of those were available. So I got some Dude Cologne and Miss Dior Absolute Blooming. So that's great, but I don't like floral scents. That's why I pick my samples, because then I know I'm going to get something that I actually enjoy. Now what I did get is awesome, and I'm super glad that I picked it up. I picked up, this is the Tarte How Sweet It Is Lip and Cheek Set. It has a deluxe size blush in Sweet. gorgeous pink with a little bit of shimmer and then the corresponding sweet lip surgeons which I love this size I don't know how many of you guys have tried these ones this is all that comes in it but it takes forever to go through one of these I like getting these ones because then I finish them and I actually feel really um, like it's an achievement it's great I've actually gone through one of those sizes before, and I've gone through an Urban Decay lipstick, and those are the only lip products, well, and a Revlon lip butter. So I've gone through three lip products in my life. That's it. And then a Maracuja oil sample. Then the rest of this, this is a big box, but there's not very much in it. Um, I went to Dollar General last night, and I picked up a... I repurchased a pack of the cucumber and green tea wipes. I love these. I'm just going to keep purchasing those. I tried the Equate ones, didn't like those as much. I picked up a two pack of the Perfect Harvest Pumpkin Latte and Pumpkin Cupcake Wax Melts. There's 12 of each 
scent in these. Um, both of these smell great. I also got this. This was only a dollar, but it's a Perfect Harvest Caramel Apple Candle. It's only got 2.46 ounces in it, so it's really only filled to about halfway. But it smells really good, so I'm happy to try it. And then... Have an elf order. Elf was doing spend $25, get a free one, two, three, four, five, six piece set that's like a $30 value or something and free shipping. So I picked up the Elf Micellar Cleansing Water which looks like this. A lot of people complained because it was only five ounces. But that's pretty typical, I think. Like my Shiseido one was twice as much of this at TJ Maxx, and it only had like 5.5 ounces. So I'm, I'm gonna try that out. And then I also got the e.l.f. Aqua Primer Mist. Something else that people were complaining about in the reviews is that this is only one ounce. But that's pretty typical, too, for about the same price as, like, the NYX or whatever. And for whatever re reason, people don't, like, give it a shot. A lot of people were like, I haven't tried it yet, but I didn't realize that I was, I was getting such a small amount of product. Read the webpage. Like, read the packages. Look at that kind of stuff. If you don't realize how much is in a product, that's not their fault because you're just not reading. Then I also picked up, I really wanted to try this. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Gel Melt Cleanser. This is 1.41 ounces. I think this was the most expensive one. All three of these together were $25. It smells like nothing, which is great. I would much rather have a cleanser that doesn't smell like anything instead of smelling bad. So I'm stoked for this. But I think that I'm almost as excited about the gift with purchase. I'm going to go through the things that I'm not excited about and then the two products that I'm super stoked about. So there is this little travel mirror, which... I'm probably going to re-gift that. There's this, actually, this Shimmer Lip Gloss in Ex Inspire, which it says it's new, so I'll try it. There's the e.l.f. Small Precision Brush, which I don't own this one, but I don't really know what you're supposed to use it for, so I'm going to have to play around with that. Then I have, I'm, I'm kind of excited about this. This is the e.l.f. Flawless Eyeshadow in Party Purple. I've been really into purples lately, so... I'm looking forward to trying that out. I've had kind of hit or miss with e.l.f. eyeshadows, so we'll see. Then I have, and this is just one of the $1 blushes, but I love e.l.f. blushes, so I'm going to try this out. This is the e.l.f. $1 blush in Glow. It's coming off much more pink on camera, but it's just this gorgeous coral, like peach color. And the thing that I'm most excited about is the ultimate kabuki brush i saw this and the fact that all of it was free totally made it worth it because i almost bought this with this order which i'm so glad for whatever reason i decided to buy the primer mist even though it had bad reviews because i want to try stuff for myself this is what it looks like that's what it looks like it's pretty dense it's really soft um, the packaging says, great for blending, highlighting, contouring, and stippling, which I could see. I mean, that's huge. That's, that's my entire forehead, basically. Um, densely compact bristles help distribute powder evenly to create a smooth and soft focused finish. Flat edges fit the contours of your face while curved corners allow for targeted application. 
Synthetic, vegan-friendly bristles are soft and easy to clean. Directions apply product in small circular motions. Build coverage if desired. And then it gives care instructions. I don't know if you're allowed to use this with liquid, but I just saw Casey. I don't remember her last name, but she did a like thousand dollar haul with all super high end stuff. And there was this $50 brush that looked almost exactly like this in shape. It was probably a little bit more dense. It was probably nicer, blah, 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 blah. But she used it to apply her foundation and applied it in like 30 seconds. So I don't know if you can, like maybe if you apply it to your face first and then use this to buff it in. I'm going to try that because if I can use this and it works well, I'm going to be so excited. So that's, I'm like surrounded now. That's everything that I've bought in the last couple of weeks. It seems like a lot. It really does. I And I've got another Ulta order coming in. And that one's going to be bigger because that one was the one that I spent all my points on. It's also coming with one of the gift sets where it's like spend $60 and get a free $120 value. So that one had three times as much stuff in it as the other one. I'm going to go put all this stuff away. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.